That's right, Steve. And they said it was not an easy race. It wasn't easy for anyone. The sailors we talked to who have now arrived said they experienced anywhere between 18 and 20 foot swells at the time. And here at the Fish House in Ketchikan, there was a lot of watching and waiting. Husbands, wives, mothers, fathers all waiting for their boat to come in. I can't wait to wrap my arms around him and say congratulations. It's overwhelming and the odds are overwhelming, but it's also really exciting. That's Barbara Roberts. Her son Neil is sailing on the boat Shut Up and Drive. He's an engineer at Tesla and has been sailing for about 17 years. She says previous races have left her with white knuckles, but she knows for this race her son is prepared. And she shares the excitement of several family members waiting in Ketchikan as the boats start to come in. Maureen Christ is waiting for her husband. He's sailing on Dazed and Confused. He works in technology. And get this, he started sailing lessons last year at the Center for Wooden Boats in Seattle. 11 months ago, we didn't know how to sail. And you can do anything if you get really interested and passionate about it. All right, so this morning at about 2 a.m., Shut Up and Drive pulled into dock, so very, very happy people there.